Hello, El Paso, and welcome to Fact Friday. I'm Martin Padilla. The city of El Paso will once again be hosting the Dia Los Niños Festival, where thousands of free books will be given free of charge. Here to tell us all about it is Jack Galindo, Marketing and Customer Relations Coordinator. Let's go check out what Jack is up to. My birthday party's already starting on the playground of my mind. Daydreams take me fast and far on Fridays around this time. The bell's about to ring, and tomorrow we'll all sing. Happy birthday to me. Oh, hey, Martin. I'm just sitting here reading my book, Muchas Gracias, Mar Maria. These books will be available for free this coming Saturday at Dia de los Niños, Dia de los Libros, while supplies last. So we'd like every child who wants one of these books to come out to Dia de los Niños and get theirs for free. For those that don't know, what is Dia de los Niños and when did it begin? Dia de los Niños is a children's literacy festival that has been happening here in El Paso since 1997. Originally, it was author and educator Pat Mora who wrote an open letter to teachers and librarians across the country asking them to celebrate books and children the way it's done in Latin American countries throughout the world. So this year will be our 26th year of celebrating this event. El Paso has given away more than 300,000 new free books to children since 1997. About how many books will the library have available to hand out to children? Yes, we will have approximately 18,000 free books available for children. Uh, this is the book Muchas Gracias Maria, written by Luke Lowenfield and Hal Marcus. We have over a thousand of these books to give away. So um, we're, anybody who comes, any child who comes to the event is going to be able to take home a free book. So don't worry about that. We have plenty of books to give away, uh, over 18,000. and. Uh, you know, come out and enjoy the day and get your free book with us. Aside from books, what entertainment can children and visitors expect? So we're going to have free swimming from 11 to 1. Of course, we're going to give away free books. We're going to have a girls football camp that's going to start uh, at 10 a.m. with registration and it's going to run from 11 to 3 p.m. We're also going to have food trucks. We're going to have um, a karate exhibition. We're going to have a lucha libre exhibition and we're going to have live entertainment on stage all day. So it's not just for children. If you bring your parents, uh, they're going to have a great time here as well. As you can see, we're in a beautiful park and uh, everybody will be able to bring your chairs, bring your lawn chairs and just sit and have a great time as a family. Why is it important for the community to have events like this one? I think it's always important for communities such as El Paso to have events like this for families. As a matter of fact, it's part of our strategic plan in El Paso to have cultural, educational, recreational events for uh, the whole family. And this one is free. Uh, it is a, a partnership between the library and Parks and Recreation. We do this every year and part of the reason is we want families to come out and have fun without having to spend a lot of money. So this event is free, free admission. The only thing that we'll be charged for are the food from the food booths uh, or from the food trucks. If you want to buy some mawas frescas or gorditas or whatever you want to buy, those will be available, but everything else is going to be free. Where will the celebration take place and is it free? Yes, uh, the event is going to be free of charge. No, uh, no admission is going to be charged. All the books are going to be free. And it's going to be held at Memorial Park Reserve, which is near the Memorial Park Library. As a matter of fact, we're going to have events throughout the area at the swimming pool. We're going to have events in the library. So we encourage you to come down. Uh, it's absolutely free and uh, have a great time. Where can people find more information? You can get more information on Dia de los Niños, Dia de los Libros by visiting our website, www.elpasolibrary.org. You can also visit us on our Facebook, or Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok pages and get all the information you need, including the schedule of events. Well, that does it on this edition of Fact Friday. Jack, thank you so much for joining us and thank you all for watching. If you need any more information on this event, make sure and visit the El Paso Public Library social media pages or visit elpasolibrary.org. We'll see you all on the next Fact Friday.